both creeds and iTech students can be divided into two groups. Ones that like entrepreneurship, that they like the idea of, of a business course. And there is a group also who doesn't like it. I don't want to say even hate it. <laughs> Creative technology is a place where people come together, like maybe someone who rather sit in front of the computer all day together with someone who's more of an outgoing person. My name is Kasia Zalewska and I teach high-tech entrepreneurship at Creative Technology and Interaction Technology. People start Create and uh, Master's program Interaction Technology because they want to learn how to use technology and they want to play with technology, they want to do fun stuff with technology, but they also want to apply technology to create impact. We are Hello. Giants. We are Tiny Giants. <laughs> we just do a word by word. Hi guys, is a uh, 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 uh. Tiny Giants is a 3D communication studio making epic digital content using special 3D tools. We help communicate for stories and for products, usually for commercial companies, but also for the more free side, which basically result in animations or realistic 3D visualizations. I am Lifika Tisitswe. I come from Botswana. I'm currently studying creative technology and I am a co-founder of Impulse International BV. We have students who are very much interested in creating social impact, who don't think about uh, becoming uh, successful entrepreneurs for the sake of being uh, successful entrepreneurs, but they want to uh, bring their ideas into the market. We offer a carbon reduction and compensation service, whereby you as a customer at checkout can see the total amount of emissions that go towards making a certain product like your t-shirt or your dress and in addition you can compensate and when you compensate um, the money goes towards funding sustainability projects around the world so this way you can have an impact on other places or less developing places and businesses can have uh, a zero emission uh, supply chain. Another example uh, why people start companies is to uh, to share their passion. We were all kind of fanatics of the visual world. We saw a lot of that coming in uh, from our projects at Create. Over the time it kind of became more of a niche and we saw what we really loved doing and that was uh, essentially 3D content. What creative technology really triggered in us was that even though we have, we have such different mindsets and interests, we learn how to mix and match this towards a united goal. Our students both at Create and iTech first of all learn how to write a business plan. We use Lean Startup methodology, which is based on the idea that you create a prototype and you get out of the building, you talk to customers or potential customers and you adjust your idea or you adjust your prototype. I think one of the biggest things that we learned is to get things done, literally. So the rapid prototyping process, you have an idea, you have some tools and you have some uh, resources, just get it done and show what it could look like or it could be like. We always we had this naive thought, oh, we, we have the solution. Actually, our first, um, can I say it? Our no, first studio. No. Okay. <laughs> so um, we had a completely different brand identity before Tiny Giants, which focused more on like uh, recreating the brand, uh, brands for companies. And we had like this naive idea that we are the solution, just give us a chance, you know? And that's not enough. In other modules or in other courses, they learn how to design a product, how to use technology to create a game, for example. In my course, I ask them to ask themselves a question. Okay, who could buy it? Who would pay for it? The entrepreneurial courses of Create, um, yeah, they helped a lot in terms of like um, just setting a price, first of all, <laughs> uh, was the most important thing for us because our company is quite a niche in the Netherlands. There's not a lot of companies that are compensating uh, uh, in web stores and stuff like this. So in terms of pricing, we didn't know or I didn't know how uh, to price it. So that was a big dilemma because now I'm going to clients and I'm saying, I have this service for you. I think it's amazing. They think it's amazing. And they're like, how much? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I don't know. In our courses, um, we are trying to, to teach the stu students uh, entrepreneurial mindset and also the, the strategic thinking. And in the seventh module is the business module whereby uh, we learn about like um, all the business plans, financial models, how to find that type of funding. 
They brought other creators that had experience in the industry and I just learned a lot uh, through that interaction with people that study the same thing as me. Entrepreneurship is also about believing that you as an individual can make change in this world and that you go for it and you let it happen and you don't let things stop you. You just break these barriers and you keep on going. You can start a company with a different goal than just earning money. Obviously, everybody needs to earn a living, but the purpose uh, behind the company could be completely different. We want Impulse to run out of business as soon as possible. By changing a lot of companies, we hope that in a short period of time, companies don't need us anymore because they're already carbon neutral. We're doing it to spread awareness. Uh, we're doing it for to reduce these carbon emissions and supply chains. For us, it's not about uh, money or uh, stuff like this. It's more about what we're doing and making an impact. So I think if you really want to be entrepreneurial and you want to make a difference in that way, then it's it's definitely not about profit. It's about showing that things can be done in a different way. I actually love very much uh, teaching uh, social entrepreneurship uh, and the concept of entrepreneurship that uh, that could uh, could be used and could change um, somebody's life. So you create impact, the whole interaction and, and teaching them um, new skills. That, that's uh, actually what, what keeps me motivated and keeps me energized. I think it's entrepreneurship, it's about passion, I would say. I think people really listen to what you say. First of all, if you have a good story and if you're really passionate about what you're saying, you know, because um, people can kind of tell, you know, if you go to someone and you're kind of cold about something that you, you say you're passionate about, then it doesn't work. It actually gets you out of bed in the morning since you love it so much and since it's such a big part of who you are as a person. It requires so much hustle and so much compromises and sacrifices to pull off an idea and make it successful. It's only doable if that idea is not just this path for you to success, but it actually really is part of your, of, of your mind and your heart and what you like to be spending most of your seconds on. Not everybody is uh, is a suitable candidate for an entrepreneur. And I think that's not necessary that everybody has to be an entrepreneur. You can develop a set of skills that, will, um, that you can apply in any environment. We want to uh, show the students a way, a one way to create impact. And it's up to them uh, what they choose.